Welcome to my, or welcome back to my channel, and for newcomers, welcome to my channel of N-Scale Division. <laughs> so, as you can see on my screen, some st different stuff I got. So, I bought myself a resin printer, been pretty busy li lately, and also I've been slacking on my RC channel, so don't feel bad on here. Uh... I got one channel going to my next shop. Another one's going to RC Hobbies. I think is my channel name. I can't remember. I think it's RC Hobbies. And now my Ansco division. So I got this stuff right here. Is some farm all tractors. That I got going to do be doing. This is N or HO scale and HO scale right here. No scale. Or wait, what? Farmall and scale. Farmall with. Ah, uh, but I. Okay, let's see here. This is my uh, WPL stuff because I got some stuff I might be selling from my WPL channel. Is some rims. I got ten wheel, which is two, four, six, eight, ten. The Deweys. So a six by six, a true Dewey. Or you want your pickup truck to have dually rims, this is going to be for 5mm axles or hubs. And then you got four wheels for WPL, or just maybe if they want to do your rims by itself, you can have that too. And that's going to be an option. Pretty cheap, I'm going to charge pretty cheap because resin ain't that. It's only two, 32 bucks a bottle or whatever you want to find, but I would suggest buying 32 bucks and get a better deal. I got some eight tool construction I'm gonna be doing I think too as well. I needed to do uh, some snow plows I'm gonna be uh, doing as well, which I don't know where that's at. Right there it is. So right here's snow plows. I'll pay like two bucks for them for uh, doing those for eight N scale or eight scale. I want to say N scale. I can do it for N scale. I think hot air balloon. I'm gonna be doing that for N scale. Where's my N scale stuff? Right here it is. Tractor. Yep, right there they are. Which one is it? Oh yeah, right here. HL. And it's pretty cool. I can click on it and it shows the picture of what they look like. So these are tractors. So I have Mike, my brother Mike, he's going to give me some money. He wants me to print them out some tractors like I just did. I'll show you what they look like in nasal scale. So I'm going to print out 10 and if I wanted to, I could start selling these too. Pretty much a, do a dollar a piece. I could sell these for 10 bucks. And then I got HL, which is 10 of them, too. Oh, wait, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five. So that's 10 there. And how many is in this? This is the software I'm using for my resin printer, which is a Mars 2 Pro Plus, I think. That's what it says. Got it on sale for 189 on Amazon. The original price would be back up to like 250 now. And then I got a Creality UVW, I think it is. And that's what the tractors look like all together. So you can see there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. And these are with supports. And come on. You want to quit? Yes. And I got some without supports because I want to see the difference. Is it easier with them or without? And I'll show you guys what they look like. Right now. Here's what I printed out for my buddy Rich for Kaki Kakiki can't remember the movie. T V show. Oh fudge sickle. I will be alright. My mistake. Poopy. Nose. Oh well, nothing I can do about it. So this is what I printed out. There are eight straights all together. I washed them. In the uh, alcohol process, which is right here, which I can show you what they look like. It's pretty easy, pretty simple thing to do. All I have to do is barely just glide over the button and it jumps around. So, say like I wanted to do two minutes, you got quick, normal, and slow, the timer, five minutes, and then you hit the little play button. And then, so down here, it's got a big magnet, and then it spins the magnet around and it catches the fan that's magnetized and then it spins everything clockwise and then it will stop and then go backwards it's pretty cool right now I got a it's HO scale uh, playground I got in there 
washing with my uh, bill plate because I gotta clean my mess up real quick. So here's my resin printer. Everything you can see here as well. That's everything I did so far. These are trusses and stuff like that I'm making. So I have a list that he gave me a while back and now I'm gonna do it again since I got me a resin printer because I want to see if these print out to the spine, which they do. Now I'm gonna see if they fit a HOS track right in between them. Hopefully they do. That'd be awesome. And then what I do is I see on my machine like this is what this is, 1A. I go through here, two required. I write down how many have I done so far. This is about five hours into it, which is almost done. Which is awesome because I'm gonna take give my machine a break, let it cool down, let the bed cool down. And I know it's, it will stick better once it cools down correctly. And then I'll pop it off, clean it with alcohol real quickly, put it back on, and be done. So this is what I've been doing. So over here, like I said, I have about eight straights. So I got four of these straights for left because I had to come in half because they're about like this. And then I have four of these edit straights. Go right there. But I just want to put them two by two. That way it doesn't hurt nothing. Because I don't have a bigger box. And then I got the turns. There is no straight. What the heck? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right here is all the straights then. And here's my turn. Easy enough to get the sports off real carefully. It's pretty easy. So I have all the turns. And the smaller ones, because I had to split these ones in half. What the heck? So I split these ones in half. So they're a little bit smaller than the fronts. Because these go like that. And I had to make it a little bit smaller to make it fit on my build plate. Of my resin printer. That way, these look like that, and then these go on just like that, making the big corner, the curvature. This ain't too bad. All you gotta do is match it how it is. So this actually goes just like that, and then I think this side, yeah, this side goes over here. Then where these lines are with these lines, it's pretty sweet. How I, how I did on Tinker Cab, I split these in half and did it. These just printed out just fine, and the detail came out great. You can see almost like the boards, like that. It's got a little bit of alcohol residue or resin residue. I washed them for like 15, 20 minutes. I washed them for, is what I like doing. I was redoing this for a video type, and then over here we have the IH tractor for HO scale. Which I didn't know that, not that it was for end scale. Which now I have to print them out a little bit smaller for end scale. Because these are end scale stuff here. Little mining carts and stuff. That I'm going to have to get like a little kind of baggy or something and ready to soak them again. And kind of get them soaked up again. And so as you can see, it fits in there perfectly. A little snuggy, snuggy fit. So, ain't too bad. I mean, you just gotta be very careful pushing it in. But it fits. It works. See? That's so cool. He is, uh, he is one heck of a designer. Because that is some cool technology he designed here. I don't want to drop him breaking. Then I got. But luckily for me, I got plenty of these, I think. Because I made two extras. And I'll show you what I did. So, right up here, I got my 89 because I had to fix some sound issues. And we know. Fixed. Because I actually didn't print out two extra ones on accident. So he's actually going to get a better deal since I broke this one. Because they are identical. Because they look the same. Oh, they look the same. And they are the same. So I'm going to replace the broken one for his good one. Or my good one for. The broken one I just broke so and the engine oh my goodness now I want now I'm thinking about taking one of these and cutting them in half where I want it or print out a little bit longer one I mean not a longer one but print out another one and add it in here 
and kind of do some customization work to it where I can cut a piece of like this end off how it looks right here and then it can add on look like it's continuing on that'd be awesome so I got I had to redo the sound on this I didn't have the one correct now it's correct and then they added some stuff on it had a hiccup my mistake I got it fixed now I fixed up my CSX chassis make it a little bit louder it doesn't sound as great because the speaker sounds like crap but I'm gonna replace it anyway not sure what speaker is in this but it's gonna get but it was too quiet here when I was doing the sound file redoing it I didn't have it loud enough now it's beautiful 901 that's coming next month that is getting fixed as from a youtuber he <laughs> So this is one's getting fixed. I'm gonna get a decoder in it, and I'm gonna get the number boards light up, headlight, just like these two do. It's gonna be sweet. Oh, I can't wait. But yep, that's a tour of my machines doing its job. As soon as this is done, I'm going to bed. See y'all later.